Hey guys, so hopefully this has worked and you're watching it. This is the first time I've ever tried to vlog on my new phone, which is the iPhone 14 Pro Max, the big one. Still adjusting to the fringe life at this point. I'm going through to Edinburgh today with Lauren, so I thought I would test out vlogging on this phone just to see what the sound and things is like. So I'm going to Manchester next week, which I definitely want to vlog. And I'm also going to Dublin in December, which I want to vlog as well, but it would be a lot simpler if I could vlog on my phone. So fingers crossed this is working, the sound is alright. This bit's probably fine because I'm in the house. So it'll be when I'm out and about how it picks up etc. But fingers crossed it goes well. I am wearing one of my Joni dresses. I got this one last year for Christmas. Look I've got my new... I can't really turn it around to show you but... Well it's not new. I actually got this in Florida in 2019 my Rexy phone ring. So I had the other one on my last phone, which I will just show you because it's also super cute. That was the last one, little winter Rexy skiing. Um, But now I've got my glittery Rexy on. New phone, new phone ring. Anyway, I am also going to wear my floral coat, which the guys in my work absolutely killed themselves laughing at when it arrived and I tried it on for them. But I think it's beautiful. So really, it's my opinion that matters. There we are, my floral coat. I think it's beautiful. And then I've got my Cambridge satchel bag. I am going through to Edinburgh today. Did I even say that? That's why I'm vlogging today. I'm going to Edinburgh, but we're going through for a beauty event. So I want to be quite hands-free. So this has got a crossbody strap and I'm going to wear my brown boots. I do have brown tights on, uh, just to kind of soften it a little bit softer than black. Time to go. Louis Vuitton this year have got almost like a Lego tree. I think almost there's Lego down the bottom, so it's officially a Lego tree. The Harvey Nichols windows are nice and pleasing. I like sparkly things sometimes. We have come into Harvey Nichols specifically so I could see this dress, which I am very into. Nicola from Dairy Girls was wearing this on her Instagram and she tagged matches in it and I've been waiting for it to come in stock and matches, which it doesn't seem to be coming. But yeah, I think this could be my Christmas list this year. I love it. I love it so much. I'll insert the picture of her from her Instagram so you can see it. I also, so I have the green one, as you guys know for your regulars. I've really decided I want the red one too. Also very much enjoy this one. Still like a more casual dress than these ones. Very autumnal. It is lovely. But yeah, I really like this one. Oh my god, there's dinosaurs everywhere! Oh, that's so cute! <gasps> oh, I love that! I like that one, that's really sweet. And I like that um, vibe charm as well. That is very cute. I do really like the, the burgundy funny one though. Yeah, that one was really cute. They are very expensive, like, for coach. For fuzzy, Yeah. Here we go. They've committed to the carnival. So we have our carnival wristbands. The bear has had a little balloon arch put around him. has massively improved. This was just a table before, they were obviously waiting to install all of this. We've got the Christmas 
Christmas collection for this year. I've just swatched lipsticks. I'm very into this garnet one, even though it's shiny, which I usually wouldn't like that kind of shade in. I've just been swatching the Guerlain quads. Look at this brown. So that's from the jungle one. Look how cute the bear is. I may be planning to leave here with a bear. They're playing ABBA. Now Lauren and I are going to see ABBA. We're very excited about it. We're excited about it, so what's it called? Voyager? Voyage? 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 Yeah, we don't really know because we get a funny pronunciation. We're going to that. Yeah, between Christmas and New Year, we're passing. I am very interested in this. I feel like I need like a daytime, like I use my vitamin C at night, but I feel like I need like a daytime thing. And I'm very interested in this one. If you tried it, let me know how it is. So we're in the line for the Pat McGrath workshop at one o'clock. dome is all dressed for Christmas. So we are heading down George Street. Um, we just did the Pat McGrath class, which was all right. The products look beautiful as Pat McGrath eyeshadows always do. There's not a proper Pat McGrath like counter. It's just like kind of on a table. And we thought there might be a bit of a rush after the class. So we are heading along George Street. We're going to go to Anthropology. Have a little wander there and then go back to Haddon's Beauty. Hopefully once it's died down a little bit. Oh, there's a sparkly skirt. Look at the penguins in the windows. I love it. I love this time of year so much. Oh, there's the plates right there. Candles. So Seasons, oh. cheers. Oh, I love that. What's it look like? Oh, look. Oh, sorry, I'm not used to this phone yet, so I'm lifting my my finger over the thing but look at these plates somebody's like i don't want to do i want to oh like hopefully i don't break this look how beautiful that is oh i like the mug too not that i need any more mugs at all but oh my god a new york holiday this year was just not a sensible time to do it it was the right thing to not go oh there is nowhere not like new york at christmas oh that's really cute Generally, just the whole, the mugs and plates in general appeal. Noël I love this, like, sophisticated dungarees, we'll call it. Not really a jumpsuit. It's kind of somewhere in between a jumpsuit and dungarees. Quite into that. This is so soft. Oh, I just want to snuggle that. I like the look of this coat. That looks very up my street. I also like the look of that print on that dress there. Maybe 12 days of Christmas plates, look. Seven swans of swimming, six geese of laying. Oh, look at them all. Four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. Look at this little mug, it's got a little hat. So it can keep your drink warm. Oh, that place with scarlet pouch. Oh, look at that one. That's beautiful. Oh, do you get to pick your own? I made a hat. You pick your own bobble. I, I love really that. Like it. It's very nice. It's a nice combination. Yeah. Oh, I like this one. That one's nice too. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's pleasing. They're very, like, chunky pom-poms. Yes, they're pleasing pom-poms. That one's really nice. Too. That one's cute. Pleasing game. Could be here for a very long time oh. playing it though. Oh, that one's broke. Get broke. Don't oh. buy that one. Broke. Don't get that one apparently. These socks just look like pleasingly firm but squishy. They match your coat very well. You can just tuck them in. Very elegant. That's not bad. There. No, that's not bad. Be a lot more than yeah, that. definitely. <laughs> it's um, quite a pleasing price <laughs> actually. Yeah, I know. I look at them every time I'm in Selfridges, more or less, and then I'm just like, oh, do I want padding to this yet, or do I want, like, you know, a lipstick? You could see me in this dress. So cute. Although well, I want the vampire's wife one more, so that's what we will focus on. I've knocked it off the hanger. Oh my god, I love these. This is £55 for the pyjama top and £40 for the bottoms. 
Oh, so pretty. I like this one as well with the birds, obviously. They're all good, but I really like this one. So I've been to NARS. This one nearest my thumb is called Freebird. I really quite like it. Then I've got No Angel next to that. And then another two. And then Thunder Kiss at the end. Free Panatone? This is, is your free Panatone? Yeah, it's, it's quite a nice size. It's not a bad size, I think. For yeah, free. For free. Can Absolutely. So you know how I've been going on about the long chomp totes, so I think this is the one I'm going to get, the city tote in this sort of gingerbread colour, but in this size, so that I can get all my work stuff in it and throw it up on my shoulder and not have to think about it. I think that's the plan. So this is the Radley picture bag for this year. I feel like you don't really see it online, but the trees are glittery. We didn't notice it until today. It's £299, which I feel is more than I really want to pay for a Radley bag. Although I don't, I was going to say it's not that Christmassy, but it, it is. I was, I, was, I was totally going to deny it and to be like, you can kind of use it through autumn, winter, but no, it definitely has a big wreath and some trees on it. So. I think well, you could use it from, like, I mean, today's November, so I feel like you could use it from this point. Oh, you definitely but, could. Yes, it's very seasonal. I do love it though. It's very pleasing. And then you've got him with his little shopper bag in the back got the matching purse. The crossbody is beautiful but I really like the picture bag. I really love these shoes. I think they are excellent. Look at them. I really like these little red ones as well. I think they're really cute. So they're $2.99. But look at these. I think they're so fun. Oh, I think they're so sweet. Love them. Oh, look at those boots with pearls up the back. Very cute. Yeah. No, I do think they're very nice. Yeah, there's not a bad option. So sparkly. Now that is a fluffy bag. Comes in black. I love this. There's a phone cover as well. Does that fit your new phone? No. I like this one as well, but um, that's lovely. Time for food, because we are hungry. So we're at Bonnie and Wild. So Lauren's got the salt and chilli prawns. I have ordered the Scottish heather honey chicken, but mine isn't ready yet, so. But this looks very promising, so I have high hopes. Mm. Very excited for this. Hey guys, so I am just home. So we had a nice day in Edinburgh. We were quite short on time because it's a uh, Sunday. So Lauren's last train home from Glasgow was at seven o'clock. So we actually had to leave Edinburgh quite early and then her last train home was cancelled and her dad had to come in and pick it up anyway, which was a bit annoying because like if that if we'd known that was gonna be the case, we might have stayed a bit longer. So we were quite rushed, but I'm glad we went. We had a nice day. The only thing I would say, I'm kind of <sighs> sort of stuck here because I really like events happening and I don't want to like rubbish them because I want to encourage more of them to happen but I feel like quite a lot of the time particularly like one-off shops like Harrods Beauty for example or Harvey Nichols they open one shop in Scotland and then it feels a bit like it's a bit too far north for anyone to be taking it seriously within like a store management group you know that way that like say for example like your sort of top shop or River Island or whatever where there's one in every shopping centre or was before Topshop shut down. There would be an area manager who would manage X amount of stores or whatever. I feel like that kind of lacks with some of the bigger shops in Scotland because it's one branch of that shop that's that far north. So that was, I think, our third time that we've been through to Edinburgh since St James's Quarter, uh, or more than the third time, the third time since had it's opened in the St James's Quarter basically that we've been through and I feel like the first two times we were very underwhelmed like there was a lot of counters just unstaffed. Today was a bit better. 
There was more staff, definitely. It was a bit busier because the event was on, but it just still felt like it was quite disorganised in a lot of ways. For example, at the start, we got handed these wristbands and basically told nothing. It was just like, here's a wristband and you go. And then we were wandering around the Pat McGrath event was at one o'clock, at quarter to one, we were like, we don't know where this event is. Like we were kind of hanging around. Fat McDad doesn't have a counter in Harry's Beauty in Edinburgh. It's on one of the play tables, they call them. I think it sounds a bit filthy out of context. But anyway, so we were kind of looking around this table and we were like, we're not going to have a masterclass like around this table, like, because it shares the table with Huda Beauty as well. So it's not even like it's just Pat McGrath. So then eventually we asked somebody and the event space was actually two floors down in a space that's empty down in the ground floor next to Next, if you know the St James's Quarter. Now, maybe if you're local to Edinburgh, that's where loads of events have happened there. And it would be obvious that that was the event space, but... This was the first sort of event that we'd gone through to Edinburgh for, so we didn't know that. And then when we got down, there was massive queue. We still managed to fit in and get a seat, but there were people having to stand at the back, and I think some people didn't get in at all. It just felt a bit like maybe when we'd been handed the wristbands, it could have been like, okay, and so this is here, this is here, and downstairs in this space is where the events are, or where the masterclasses are, rather. And then there was also this, like, vending machine thing at the back, which you had to put a post on Instagram, use their hashtag, then you went up to the vending machine, put your Instagram handle in, and it found your post basically and verified you'd done it and you got something. It was just your luck. Most people were getting samples, but they did tell us there was, like, full bottles of perfume and stuff in there. Now, we went up, there was a massive queue for it and we went up and they were like, oh, this is what you do to, you know, and then you go up to the, do your post then go up to the machine. And she asked if we'd been given a time card and we were like, no, nobody handed us a time card. And we did see some people with time cards. So I think, again, maybe you're meant to get that when you got your wristband, but we weren't given one. And she was like, oh, it's fine, right, just do your post and come back. So we didn't think this was like a time thing. So we went a wonder, went and did the Pat McGrath masterclass, then we were like, oh, probably be really busy around that counter after the class. So we went all to anthropology, then we came back, we went for food, then went back to like finish off in Harrods. We did our post while we sat and had our lunch, then we went to go in the queue and she was like, oh, this is for the 4pm slot return people and it's full, so uh, you need to come back at five o'clock. But we had to leave at that point because... Lauren's last train was supposed to be at seven and we were a bit like, well, nobody told us there was a time that we had. We were just told, like, just do your post and come back. And I felt really sorry for the girl who was manning the queue because it wasn't really her fault, but it just wasn't made clear. And during the masterclass, like, the microphones were far too low. You could hardly hear anything that was being said. There were just a few things that, and I don't know if it's because I come from a marketing background. I really like organising events and running events. Like, there were just quite a few things that, if that had been my event, I'd have been really annoyed about that the staff weren't doing. So yeah, it wasn't wasn't the best thing I've ever been at, but it was a nice day out and I am really glad that events are, are starting again now after the last two years and whatever. So I don't want to knock it too much, but I just kind of, if you've ever been to an event, if you live further south and you've been to like an event in like Harrods Beauty or whatever, are they better organised? Is it just disorganised ac across the whole company or is it just that Scotland is kind of really far north and they're just like oh just leave them to get on with it because that's the vibe I get and it gets to me it does get to me so yeah let me know but on more cheerful chat I got a beer I was actually meant to be getting my dry bar hot toddy I finished it and I just wanted to get a replacement but they put out of stock of that so didn't get a replacement but I got a beer so let's let's look at him because he's so cute this is another thing you have to pay for these bags and I know that that's the law but I know like a lot of the sort of more upmarket companies, they pay for the bag on behalf of the customer. So the bag is still paid for, but the company absorbed that charge. I really just think Harrods should be one of the companies absorbing that charge. It just really cheapens it, I think, for, for what's meant to be like a super luxury shopping experience. And I know each beauty is not quite Harrods, but Harrods is the same in terms of their policy now with bags. It does just cheapen it, you know, not maybe not so much buying a beer, but... If you're buying like shoes or a really expensive dress or whatever, the idea of paying 10 pence for the bag on top of it, it just really, really cheapens it, in my opinion, from a marketing point of view. I get the environmental side of things, but from a marketing point of view, paying for bags from Harrods and retailers like that just rubs me up the wrong way, to be honest. But within the bag is this year's Harrods beater. So he's called Louis. He's just super cute. I really couldn't resist him. I have form in this area as you can see. Um, so yeah, there's Harrods 2016, Bloomies Bear 2019, Harrods 2021, my Beamish Bear, I've got multiple other bears. So I did not need another bear, but he was too cute to resist. But they then also had build your own goodie bags, 
which was on the thing, but you were only getting one if you spent over £50. So between Lauren and I, we spent £50. So just kind of put together and got one goodie bag. And I got three things and she got two things. We both got one of these headbands, which are always useful. And then... For my three things, I picked out the Black Rose Skin Infusion Cream from Sizzly. I love the Sizzly Black Rose Mask. Looking forward to using that. Then I picked up this little sample of the Pat McGrath Pillow Talk Push-Up Lashes. I was really, really excited about this when it first launched, but basically I read that it's quite a smudgy mascara and I've got oily eyelids that will smudge anything. But when I saw the samples going, I thought, well, it's a chance to try it, isn't it? So I got that. And then I also got this soap brows, which I've never tried soap brows and my brows are quite unruly. So I don't really know if they will take to soap brows, but again, it was in the goodie bag. So it was a chance to pick it to try it. So those were my three beauty bits in my bag that I didn't pay for because that was the goodie bag. Look how cute is my little bear? Absolutely the last thing I needed, but he's too adorable not to have. Anyway, I am more or less going to sign off there, but I just wanted to show you, whilst I was out, I used this from Murad. So it's called the Matte Effect Blotting Perfector. I'd had this for absolutely ages, like a cushion, and I was a bit like, oh, that's weird. It's not really a powder. It's, it is what it is. I've been kind of avoiding using it, but I'm out of well not completely but running very low on pressed powders so this has been much easier in terms of something to put in my bag to top up in fact i'll show you i'll i'll block my forehead just so i can then take my makeup off i'll show you for the sake of showing you okay so you see how shiny i am there i feel like the light is still hitting it but that has like instantly already started to mattify it but if you look like it's not disturbed whatever remnants of makeup are still on my forehead like you can even see, like look how shiny that is where I've not blotted it, but across my forehead, like the light's still hitting it, but it's not um not shiny like it was. Like look if I stand with the light like coming right down on top of it, you know my skin's not like totally matte and not luminous. Like there's still there's still light, but it's definitely blotted that down straight away. But yeah, I'm really really impressed with this basically. So would recommend. Mm -hmm.